Hi everyone, welcome to the Pace Studio in New York City. Uh, we have Dory Freeman in the house. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, do you want to introduce uh, your band? Who's yeah, today? so I'll start uh, from this end. This is uh, Nicholas Falk playing drums, and Jeff Hill playing bass, and Teddy Thompson playing electric guitar. Great. Um, your second album, Letters Never Read, is out tomorrow. Preliminary congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> and you're going to play a few songs uh, from that record and from your debut uh, today. So tell us about the first one. Uh, this first song is um, one that we had Efo Donovan sing some harmony on, which was kind of a, a lucky happening. Um, I sat on the plane next to her on the way up here to record the album, so it just sort of worked out. Um, and it's one called Just Say It Now. quick tidbit of how you met Aoife, um, because she is also great. Yes. Um, but I was wondering if you could tell us um, how you and Teddy met, because that is also, from what I understand, a good story. Yeah, so I guess going on almost three years ago, um, I sent Teddy a message on Facebook, and uh, I'd sent him a song and just said, hey, I'm a big fan and would love to work with you in some capacity, and, you know, didn't really expect a response of any kind, but... He messaged me back um, sometime that week, and it I was didn't kinda... have a lot going on. <laughs> <laughs> and well, I was lucky that you didn't have a lot going on. Facebook. Yeah, okay. yeah. So, it worked, I mean, it worked out for me, mm -hmm. you know. But uh, and then it sort of just snowballed into making a record together, and you know, it's been it's been going good and so you far. You worked on um, Teddy. You worked on both of Dory's records. Yeah, he right? produced both records. Yeah. Um, I didn't realize you were you were playing. With Dory now. Um, when did when did y'all start? Yeah. Whenever yeah. I'm in New York, he usually plays. Okay. With me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. It started out as me helping Dory, and now she empl now she's employing me. <laughs> I guess. I guess now I'm just I'm just in Dory's band. <laughs> Excellent. It's, it's great. Yeah, it's going good. <laughs> Love it. Well, Dory, what's the next song uh, y'all are gonna play for us? Today? Um, we're gonna play another new song from uh, the record that comes out tomorrow, and um, this one is called "Lovers on the Run." 
Virginia, Gallup's um, Virginia, yep. uh, which for anyone tuning in who is not so hip to American geography, um, is a small town in um, western, the western part of Virginia by the Appalachian Mountains. Yeah, southwestern Virginia. It's a very small town. It's like <laughs> 7,000 probably around there. Yeah. Um, but there is a very important music scene uh, there. It's, you know, Appalachian music like comes from there. Yeah, it's um, the, like the self-proclaimed capital of old time music. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I was just wondering, um, you know, what that kind of music meant to you growing up and how um, your understanding or appreciation of it um, has evolved as you've made your own records. Um, it was really important for me. Um, my dad and my grandpa both played a lot of music growing up and played a lot of bluegrass and old time and um, gospel and just a lot of music like that. So it was the first music that I ever listened to and the first music that I ever loved. So it's, I mean, it's had a lot to do with shaping the way I write songs and the way I listen to music and make music. What instruments uh, did your did your father and grandfather play, or were they singers or both? They're they're both they're both singers and songwriters. And uh, my dad plays mostly fiddle and mandolin, a little bit of some other stuff. And um, my grandpa's a guitar player. Cool. Um, so, at what point did you start playing music? Um, I've been singing pretty much, you know, since I was little, um, and then I learned how to play guitar around like 15 or 16, so a little bit later in the game than a lot of people start. Eh. Yeah. Making a career out of it, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, did you ever, like, uh, were you ever drawn to, like, any of the other kind of, like, stereotypically, like, more bluegrass instruments of that region at all? 
I mean, I love them, but I don't really have the patience to learn how to play any of them. Um, my dad tried to get me to learn how to play fiddle when I was probably eight or nine, and I just just didn't have any interest in it. In it so. It's really squeaky. <laughs> yeah, when yeah, you're first it, learning, it's, it's very squeaky for a long time. Yeah. So. <laughs> uh, that well, deterred me. Yeah, for real. It deterred my parents when I was playing music, too. Yeah. They're like, maybe something else. <laughs> um, but uh, there's some covers or reinterpretations of uh, old-timey songs, music, um, on this record. Uh, why, did you, why did you choose those? What drew you to them? Um, well, one in particular is uh, an old-time gospel song called Over There, and um, I learned it from an Asheville, uh, North Carolina musician, and um, it's just I just thought it was a, a really cool song, and I thought it would be um, important. It's important to me to include a song like that on my record um, since I grew up listening to that kind of music, and even though I don't write a lot of songs necessarily in that style, it's still a really influential kind of music, so I wanted to include something on the record that... Um, kind of had to do with my upbringing and what I listened to then. Totally, totally. Well, you've got one more for us today. Uh, sure. Tell us about the last song you're going to play. Um, this is like the only happy song that I've ever written. So, ever? Yeah, ever. Yeah, so we end with this song a lot. Um, mm -hmm. And it's the first track on the record. And actually, um, Teddy's dad, Richard Thompson, plays guitar on it. And um, it's one called If I Could Make You My Own.
sounds really, really great, you guys. Thank you. Um, so you've got a gig tonight uh, here in New York City at Rockwood. Uh, I believe you go on at 8.15. That's right. And then uh, City Winery in Boston tomorrow. Um, well, that got that got canceled because of construction just kidding issues but we cool. are playing a house concert in uh, bristol connecticut tomorrow with the uh, acoustic cool series and you can get tickets to that if you want to come fantastic so. okay so all that information i'm sure is on your facebook page it is yeah but new york city come out tonight to rockwood um and dory friedman and band come back to paste anytime thank you thank you